This one will continue from previously. This will be music theory seven, and it will go in the music folder. So last time we were talking about measuring music. So we had the lines going this way, and then between the lines, we have this little thing going down like that. Now I'll show you a staff here. See this staff right here? Those are the lines right there. But this thing going up and down between each line those are measures. That means only so many notes can go in each one. Now, how you decide that is by something we call a fraction. Now, if you look down here, for example, what will you see on this edge? Four over four. What does that mean? Or was that? What does it say? All right, here's what it says. A time signature must look like this, 4 over 4, for example. This is a fraction where each number stands for what happens in each measure in the language of music. This is called 4-4 four, four time. When someone looks at music, he says, oh, that's 4-4 four, four time. Now, this is what happens. The top number means how many beats in a measure. In this fraction, it means that we can count four beats for, for each measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As soldiers are marching, count one as a heavy beat, and they will be all on their right foot. Each of these measures have only four beats in it. And the first one is emphasized. This is like a march. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's how many beats in a measure. On the bottom number, it means what kind of note gets one of those beats. Now, this is what gets interesting. What kind of note gets one of those beats? This bottom four means a quarter note. Remember, four is a quarter note. Two is a half note. One is just a circle. So... This bottom four means that this is, is, is means that a quarter note gets one of these beats. This is the same as saying that one quarter note gets one beat in a measure. Now, okay, from this we can see that because there are four beats in every measure, and a quarter note gets one of these beats, we can have four quarter notes in each measure. Thus, in a piece of music with four four time. It has all of its measures filled with four beats and no more or no less. And that is the standard for each one of these beats in a one quarter note. So you see down here, I showed you the staff before. This is showing the staff. Those are the divisions. That's the unit of beats. Go right in there. How many notes? Well, it says right down here, only four notes and four beats. That's what says down here. So that's what's going to be inside of this once you begin to play music. Now, what that means is, for example, how many beats or a pulse or counts there are in each measure. So there are four beats in each of the measures. Now, we'll show you that right on top. It's very simple to see. Four beats in every one of these measures. See that four on the very top over here? That means the four beats. Every measure gets four beats. Okay. Now, what do we show next? The bottom means what kind of note gets one of these beats. So, this is one quarter note gets one beat. So, you see we've circled down here. We've circled down here the bottom number. That means the kind of note gets one beat. There it is right there. There's the quarter note. That gets one beat. So there are four of them all in each measure. So when you put all those together, what do you get? Four beats in each measure. And a quarter note gets every one of those beats. That's called the time signature. And each measure is filled with one quarter notes. Or their equivalent. Now, 
that's what's next. But you see now we have the standard as far as the number of beats in a measure and the possibility of how many notes can be in there and what kind of note can be in there. This is the beginning of the standard you see on a staff when you are reading or writing or playing music.